Hey you guys, I am back at the grocery store and I'm gonna show y'all five more things that are advertiser healthy that you might think are healthy that are truly not and what you should buy instead. So many times um, when people are trying to be healthier or go on a diet or something like that, then they will stop having a regular flour tortilla. This is just your regular old flour tortilla. You just throw it in your cart, not thinking anything about it. But you might be switching to something like this. Like you guys, that was totally me. I was like, my tortilla is green. Like I am the epitome of health. But let me show you what is in these ingredients. So here we go with these. Um, it's got modified food starch, first of all. It doesn't even start off with just regular flour, but it has rice flour, key protein. But here we see the vegetable shortening and it has hydrogenated soybean oil. Then keep going, it has more cornstarch, more soybean oil. And yes, it does contain spinach, but it also contains blue coloring number one, as well as natural flavor. And down here, one of the worst offenders, I believe, is the mono and diglycerides. These are things that build up over time and can lead to heart issues, things that I really just don't wanna deal with in life. So I really try to stay clear of the mono diglycerides. It also contains sodium phosphate and a couple other really questionable ingredients. Maybe you didn't go the spinach route, and maybe you went the almond flour route, but even that, let's just take a look-see here. We have more modified food starch. We have soybean flour, xanthan gum. We have healthy gristol esters of fatty acids. We also have those same monodiglycerides. We have some of the guar gums and things like that, as well as more of the sodium acid phosphates. And lastly with the tortillas, even if you go organic, this is the Mission Organics Whole Wheat Tortillas. Like, on the front, what more could look better? <laughs> so while, yes, they are not using GMO ingredients, let's see what they are using. So we at least start off with whole wheat and organic flour, but we go down just a little bit. They're still containing natural flavors. They're still containing sodium acid phosphates. And worst of all here is they're adding in the carrageenan. Now, what about bread? Bread is another one that a lot of people start switching. If you had regular white bread, then you're like, okay, I wanna live healthy. I'm gonna switch over to some, some healthy whole grains. Maybe if it says nuts and seeds, that makes me feel even better about myself. Sprinkle on some oats on the outer layer and we it looks and we really think like, this is very healthy. They've even got, you know, the Sara Lee has come out with like the low calorie bread and things like that. But we're gonna take a look and see what is actually in those loaves of bread. All right, we've got Nature's Own Honey Seven Grain. All right, we're getting, you know, seven grains. That's gotta be good. We do start off with the whole wheat flour, but moving right along, first of all, they still have enriched flour in it. So it's not actually 100% whole wheat flour. Um, the, the second ingredient is still enriched flour. Then we go down, the sweetener here is brown sugar, not the worst of the worst. It's got some honey in there. Now, it does contain sunflower seeds and rolled oats. Those are all great things. But the oil they use here is the soybean oil. They also use some dough conditioners like sodium, citerol, you know, lactylate, however you want to say that. And here again, mono and diglycerides. And actually, I see mono diglycerides twice in these ingredients. Plenty more preservatives to go along with it. We've got soy flour as well, all together. This is not something I would make in my kitchen. This is not like a real, normal, natural kind of food. We got all sorts of stuff. So sorry, nature's own. You're a little too far from nature. All right, Sarah Lee, delightful. 45 calorie, eight grams of whole grains is what it says here on the front. But like always, let's flip it on over. All right, well, they're really having me work for it here, doing it really sideways and drawn out. But whole wheat flour, wheat gluten, whole grain mix. Now, here, here we go. Modified food starch, preservatives, calcium, propanate, sorbic acid. We've got the vegetable oils of soybean. We have monoglycerides. They don't do the diglycerides, just the monoglycerides, um, as well as still adding natural flavors keep going you've got a little bit more probably dough conditioners down here uh, looks like they do sweeten it a tiny bit with some stevia leaf as well but again this is really just not what I feel like they are trying to portray on the front 
The thing is, is that like homemade bread literally has like five ingredients to it. It's like water and flour and yeast and salt and honey, like that's it. And so when we see these long lists of ingredients, you can know like this is not a real food. This is not something that like you would just make in your kitchen. All right, the last bread I'm gonna look at is this small 100% whole wheat bread. This is just the store brand from where I'm at. Um, but moving over, it does start with a whole wheat flour. Yes, it does, but it has soybean oil. It also has more monodiglycerides. That's just pretty much in every, almost every bread here. Um, it has a lot of the preservatives, the sodium phosphates. It also has natural flavor. I'm guessing they all do that just to make their bread taste better. Um, but just none of those things should be in bread. None of that are our real bread ingredients. So what then? What do we do when everything that's advertised seems like it's not actually healthy for us? Now, if you are at a like if you're at a grocery store that is promoted as being like natural or healthy, like Whole Foods or Sprouts or even Trader Joe's, then you will have more options. But if you're at a typical grocery store like Kroger or Walmart, or I'm at HEB, there's really only one brand here that um, kind of passes the Aubrey test and that is the Dave's Killer Bread. So this one says 100% whole bread, whole wheat on the front and then we'll take a look at these ingredients. Now, it's still not perfect. Um, I have some other brands that I prefer. Also, homemade bread is the best, but we at least have organic whole wheat and that's it. Um, it doesn't add it any enriched flour. Then we have cane sugar, organic expeller pressed canola oil, and then down here at the bottom, we've got the salt and the yeast. We have nothing super crazy. We have nothing that is a preservatives. We have no monodiglycerides. We have no natural flavors. So this is a much, much better option. Okay, another thing that many people start switching to when they're wanting to be healthy is turkey bacon. I remember my mom making this switch. Um, I always hated the flavor of it, but let me show you why it is not actually healthier than a regular bacon. All right, here we go. Turkey bacon, cured turkey chopped and formed. Uh, we come right on over here. We have the turkey, we have potassium lactate, potassium acetate, sodium something else. We've got natural flavors, we have canola oil, we have more natural flavors, we have sodium phosphate and sodium nitrate here at the end. This Jenny O turkey bacon is almost exactly the same ingredients as that one I just showed you. Lots of natural flavors, lots of potassium, sodium, nitrate, all sorts of stuff like that. And lastly, I'm gonna show you all this Oscar Mayer turkey bacon. Whoop. And over here, we still have the um, the smoke flavor, a lot of the phosphates and the nitrates. Uh, however, this one also has autolyzed yeast extract, but that is just a fancy name. Uh, another way to say monosodium glutamate. So this is something that's going to make your taste buds say, mm, this is yummy, but it's not actually healthy. So what is a bacon lover to do? I will show you. I would opt for some regular bacon like this. We've got sugar-free, we've got organic, uncured, no GMO ingredients, no antibiotics, no added hormones. And when we flip this one on over, it's, we see there are only about three ingredients here. It's pork, salt, and some celery powder. And if you feel like you have to get turkey bacon, at least get the uncured turkey bacon. Because here in the ingredients, we have the dark meat, turkey, water, vinegar, sea salt, black pepper, sugar, and celery powder. So these are much more straightforward ingredients than pretty much all of the other brands. Another diet food or health food that I don't believe is actually healthy are all of these non-butter spreads. Now here's the crazy thing is that my husband like legit thought that country crock was like butter. He was like, what? How is it not butter? Because advertising is so tricky and just like the normalcy of like however you are raised, like it just kind of gets stuck in our head. Like this is butter or this is cheese or this is bacon. <laughs> um, but let me show you what these are actually made out of. All right, country crock. Let's see. Look at this. Like we got this beautiful picture. Like look, it grows, starts with farm grown ingredients. So let's see what kind of farm grown ingredients we have. Oh, believe it or not, it's soybean oil, also palm oil. Then they have to add in natural flavors to make it taste like butter. So there we go. This is just a little tub of GMO oil whipped up for you to think it's butter. Then of course we've got the classic, can't believe it's not butter. They do say simple ingredients. So let us just see here. 
Um, not, not so, not so. Soybean oil, palm oil, monodiglycerides, natural flavors. Those things are not simple. Come on now. Okay, this one will be interesting. This is what I remember my mom switching to when she was on a diet when I was in high school and I thought I was so healthy and like measuring out this <laughs> so I could make sure I had zero fat. Oh my goodness, ridiculous, Aubrey. So you can see we have the soybean oil, we have the hydrogenated cottonseed oil, more monoglycerides. This even has some soy, not only natural, but also artificial flavors. All of the sodium sorbate, sodium benzenate, all of these preservatives, no, no, no. So I'm actually here to share some wonderful news with you today, and that is that butter is actually healthy. I absolutely love this like grass-fed Kerrygold butter because you know what? Butter is very high in a lot of nutrients. It's very high in vitamin K2. It's very high in vitamin A. It has some wonderful like omega-3 fat, uh, fatty acids. It has some other fatty acids, I believe CLA fatty acids, and these are the types of fats that help your body protect against cardiovascular disease, can be like cancer fighting all sorts of good stuff so just get some real butter you guys do i eat this whole stick of butter of course not but do i add it into our veggies do i put it in a potato do i mix it in oh yes i do so the last thing i'm going to show y'all has to do with eggs somewhere along the way eggs started getting a bad rap um about high cholesterol and all these things so people start switching to only egg whites I was one of those people in college. I bought those little cartons of egg whites. And now the good news is that all of them do just contain egg whites. But the problem is that the egg white contains, yes, most of the protein in the egg, but very few of any other nutrients. All the other nutrients are found in the egg yolk. So what I recommend is getting some really high quality pasture raised eggs. These eggs are higher in vitamin A, they're higher in omega-3s, they're higher in vitamin K, they're lower in cholesterol. Overall, they are so good for your health. Like get that egg yolk. Egg yolk also contains um, an amino acid called lutein, and this is great for eye health. It is just, there's so many beneficial things in eggs. So get yourself a whole egg, scramble that thing up, fry it up, and enjoy the deliciousness. Well, there you go. Five more things that maybe you thought were healthy that now you're like, oh snap, what? And so I really hope this is just eye-opening for you. I love sharing these sorts of things. If you like this kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know. Let me know if there's any other aisle you want me to go down, anything else you want me to show you.